Hey guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here, and I have a really cool web tool to showcase today. It is called ClassroomScreen.com, and it is an amazing tool, especially for teachers, when it comes to helping you manage your, your classroom as far as like providing uh, the most effective and efficient instructions and directions and managing your time. Um, this is a really cool site to use. One, it's free. Two, it's web-based. Three, you can choose to project it off your computer or if you have like an interactive panel, you can use it there too. So really neat feature. Uh, that features that it has. So let's take a look at some of them. If you go here, I went to classroomscreen.com. On the bottom, you'll see their menu bar. And on this menu bar, I'm going to go through each one and just kind of showcase what they each have to offer. And hopefully it'll be quick, uh, but uh, you'll get the gist of it and you'll see how uh, beneficial it can come in when managing your classroom. The very first one, if I click on it, it is the time. And so, um, it has both digital and analog. So if you're teaching time, that would really help also always being able to refer to it. In addition, if you're in a classroom like I'm, I'm in, that, the, that, that our clocks are digital and don't work, then that, is, that gets super, super uh, frustrating for both the teacher and the students. And so uh, this is always neat to have it up there and you're always able to manage your time appropriately. Um, and so I love that feature. And uh, you also have, if I toggle on over here to the little uh, calendar, I have the actual date. So I can, I, uh, I can go back and forth between the time and the date. Or if I'd like to have both, I can actually click on this again. I'm sorry, click on the plus one again, and I can actually have both. And I can choose to uh, move them around however I see fit, right? And so that's really, really neat. And I can have them going the, the entire class period. So I love, absolutely love that feature. My next uh, second favorite feature is the timer. I'm always, always really adamant about not wasting a single time, uh, a single minute of our instruction, because before you know it, it does add up. And so um, we do have, I work in a middle school, so we have passing periods. So as soon as one class ends, I start my timer. And I give sufficient time from the kids to get from one class to the other and be ready uh, to start working for my class. And so they walk in and they see the timer running. So for example, and they'll walk in and they'll see that they have three minutes to get their supplies and to get started with whatever their daily starter is for the day. And so I love this feature. You also have a stopwatch that you can use. If I toggle on this side, I can put a stopwatch. I can stop it. I can reset it or I can go back to the timer which is still running. So really neat. If I ever want to get rid of something, let's say I want to get rid of the, the uh, date, I can go back and I can click on the minus one and it'll take off one of them. And then let's say I wanted this, I can go back. So anyways, I can do that and I can start maneuvering this so that it fits better in my for my instruction. Uh, the next one is the traffic light. And so the traffic light is basically you get to click on red, yellow, or green. So depending on the, the classroom activity that you have, you can have green means go. Okay, go ahead and go. Guys, I need you to slow down right now because I have something to say or completely stop, right? Uh, so it, it's up to you. You can use it as a actual uh, behavior management. Uh, right now we're at a green as a class or we're at yellow guys, we're getting there, or red, you know, we're not doing our best. And so it's up to you how you wanna use that traffic light. The next one is called work symbols. And work symbols is really what are you doing currently? What do you want the kids to do? Is it independent practice? Therefore, they need to be silent, right? Is it whispering? Maybe they're working in partners uh, or in pairs. Is it asking a neighbor, asking a shoulder partner, or are they collaborating and you need them to work together? And so you can have this up there so that they know. And if you ask, if you go like this, if maybe you put the green light, you know that, hey, continue working, you're still working, or red light means stop, and I need, I need to tell you something, okay? So really neat uh, tool. 
The next one is text. And with text is you can have them walking in and you can put good morning or afternoon, depending on what it is, or hello guys, or hello students, and then say, please, please have all of your supplies ready. And so then you can put the supplies that they need for that class period. Maybe they need their interactive notebook. Maybe they need glue, of course, a pencil, so on and so forth. Or you can even put page 74, you know, so that they know that they're working on, they're going to need to turn to page 74. And so that's the text feature. You also have a drawing feature. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one for now. I'm going to go back and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the X. Now notice I clicked on the X. If I click on it again, my instructions are still there. It hasn't gotten rid of my instructions. So I can get it out of here because I want to move it out of the way. But for the next class, if I keep this window open and I click on it, it's up and running uh, It's uh, again, right? You still have it there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that. I'm going to go to drawing. Oh, I'm going to go right here. And the drawing feature is you can literally do something like this. If you have an interactive panel, the kids can go up there and they can write on it or draw on it or do some type of working out a math problem on it for everybody to see their daily math problem. Um, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, is also a drawing, but it gives you your entire screen, the whole screen. The other thing is, with the other one, the smaller feature, it also does this. Um, no, I'm sorry. This one gives you, you can use uh, X, Y coordinates, or you can do music or um, different features that it has where you use the background so it becomes transparent and you can draw on it as well. And so you can do that. But one thing I didn't mention on this is that I can choose to upload an image. So let's say the image is my cue set. I want to spark some curiosity so that they can start asking questions. I press on the little up arrow and I'm just going to drag an image that I have on my desktop. And now I have my image there. And so I can keep that image there for every single class period or all day long. I can choose to move it out of the way. But when I click on it again, it's still there. The next one is the QR code. This is one of my favorites, especially if you have devices in the classroom. If you want your kids to use their iPad to access a website, but it takes forever for them to type in the website uh, URL, you can easily do something like this. For example, I've already looked up an image that I want them to have on their iPad. So I looked up this image. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to copy the image address because you need that link to create a QR code. So I copy the image address and then I'm going to paste it here. And notice my QR code changed. So if I wanted to, I can literally use my phone and it'll scan it and it'll take me to that page. So your kids would use their iPad and if you want to send them to a specific page, web page, image, YouTube video, all you would have to do is that and it, they'll scan it and it'll take them there. And so if they're using iPads, as long as they use the camera feature, uh, the camera app, it'll take them to the website. Uh, the next one, sound level. If we're working in a group and I want them to keep it at a certain sound level, um, I can use this and I can move around and this would be my gauge, right? I'd say, guys, y'all can talk. Just make sure, keep in mind that you can't get past that five. All righty. So try to keep it down. And so if they notice that they're getting way past that five, then they know that they need to keep it down. You, the teacher can easily say, guys, go ahead and look at your, your sound level because we're getting a little too loud. We're getting too close to that number five. And so that's a really neat feature to help you out because the kids will automatically know to look and try to keep it down. And so I, I love that. The next one is the randomize. And so one thing that's really tough for teachers is to 
randomize uh, kids' names when we're asking for questions or checking for understanding. We always go for the same students or the same students raise their hand. So one thing that we can do here is we can type out the names like Mary and uh, Joe and Tom. Of course, I type them correctly. Uh, Charlie and uh, Susie. Uh, and then once I have all my names here, I can choose. And so now I call Tom and it's totally random. And so the kids all need to be on their toes because they don't know if their name is going to be called. Now, if you don't want to be typing in those names, which I wouldn't, it, what you can do uh, other than that is I have a list and I have the same names and I'm a huge Atlanta Braves fan. So I have the, the roster here. So uh, you'll see the same. But anyways, let's say it's my third period class. I'm going to just grab this one and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it and now I have all my kiddos there so super fast and easy guys and now I choose and so we've got our pitcher Mike Soroka up to bat <laughs> uh, but no you know it's his turn to to answer a question and to check for understanding so really neat Ron, uh, Ronaldo Acuna uh, our star player right now uh, but anyways, that is how you randomize. And again, you can exit. And then when you come, come back on, the names are still there for that, for that class period. They also have these guys that you can choose if you want one, two, or three. Depending on how you use different activities, you can use this feature as well. So really neat. Background is simple. You want to change the background you can choose any of these and it'll change it to that background. If you want a solid color, you can have a solid co color. If you want to upload your own image background, you can do that as well. And so uh, aside from that, some other things on the bottom right corner of the web uh, page, you have this feature here. And it basically maximizes and it takes away your, your tabs on the top, your Chrome browser. You can also choose to bring down uh, your menu bar that you had with all the tools. So those are some of the features. Now the next one I'm going to show you is uh, like an exit poll type of feature. And it works amazing with uh, interactive uh, panels. Uh, so let's see if it actually works for me because my internet was lagging. So let's take a look. Awesome. And so what you would do here is you would ask a question and the kids would, if you have an, uh, especially if you have an interactive panel, the kids would walk by and tap and they could show their understanding and how they feel about that day's lesson by just clicking on these. And so what this is doing is it's gaining those analytics and then it'll give you a result. And so right now we have a total of seven votes and maybe we can do a couple of these. And as the kids are exiting, this is what they're, they're clicking on. You can change them to maybe just a, a yes, no type of answer, right? Yes, no. You can change them to just three choices and then you can show the results and it gives you a really good way to gauge how that lesson, uh, how effective you were with that lesson. And it's, it's always a really good practice to monitor and adjust your own instruction for your kids. And I think this helps you do that. And so um, this is uh, classroomscreen.com. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you start using some of these features. It really helps with class management. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. You can find me at Mrs. Talk Techie and uh, we'll see you with the next tech tool. All right, guys. We'll see you.